Today's tutorial is a continuation of the elephant lovey body. This time, we're going to make the tail. There aren't many tools that I'm using for today's tutorial, but I'll make sure I'll list everything in the description. And here are all the stitches and techniques I'll be using. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get crocheting. All right, this is round 11 of the body. And before I start crocheting, I'm counting back five stitches and putting a stitch marker in there. I'm also putting a stitch marker in the stitch just before that because this round says that I'm gonna make a single crochet in the next 95 stitches. That's gonna take me almost all the way around the body. And I don't know about you, but I'll lose track and lose count of how many stitches I've made. So having these stitch markers here means I can just relax and crochet until I get there. Let me take you to that spot. Okay, after those 95 single crochets, you might want to mark the last single crochet you made. I marked that single crochet because it's gonna help me see where I need to put my hook in the next round. Then go ahead and make 11 chains. This next part can be a little tricky. Make sure the chain doesn't twist up on you and you want to put a single crochet in that second chain from your hook. Then single crochet into each chain until you reach the end. That should give you a total of 10 single crochets that will create this tail for our elephant lovey. Make sure your work doesn't twist around on you as you crochet these. Once you're at the end, single crochet in the remaining five stitches on the body. I like to mark the first single crochet I make onto the back onto the body because it's going to help me in the next round. Now, this might look a little weird right now, but trust me, things are going to get better. In round 12, all you need to do is put a single crochet into every stitch all the way around the body. When you get to that spot around the tail, just make sure to keep your tension really snug to avoid any gaps. The two stitches on top of the tail can look a little weird and that's why I use these stitch markers to identify them. You should have a total of 100 stitches for this round. What you have at this point might look a little bit odd, and you might be wondering if you did something wrong. It could look like it's too wide and it's not going to really work out the way you see the picture and the pattern, but trust me, it's all going to come together in the next few rounds as you continue to build up this body. Isn't that tail really cute? I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. Just make sure you count the total number of stitches after each row. You don't want to have an extra stitch or skip a stitch. The next few rounds in the pattern should be pretty straightforward. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to work in the arms. That's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks for watching. As that sheep is just Man. going haywire. I want you to come sit over here. What that's it? I just cut? keep it. No, just keep it rolling. Just come sit over here. <laughs> Ugh, I have to travel for work. Do all this traveling for my work. The next few rounds in the pattern should be pretty straight. Ooh.